Now at 5.30, more than just a pretty face, an Orange County teen becomes a track and field sensation, and now she's battling unexpected attention on the web. Welcome back to the CBS2 News. I'm Laura Diaz. And I'm Paul Majors. It began with a picture on MySpace, then came the phone calls, the emails, and relentless attention on the web. CBS2's Orange County reporter Michelle Geely has Allison's story and this unwanted attention. In the prep sports world, Newport Harbor High School pole vault champion Allison Stocky is a big name. As a freshman, I broke the national freshman record. Um, that was, I think it was 12-6 before, and I broke it at 12-8. And then my sophomore year, I broke the national sophomore record at 13 five and three quarters yet these days the 18 year old is an even bigger name on the internet as a result of an unofficial fan site and sports blogs which in some cases have generated crude sexual comments Saki told the washington post that the unwanted attention is demeaning and the thousands and thousands of web hits that this one girl has received is no doubt alarming to parents whose own kids are willingly putting photographs and information about themselves on the Internet. We are in a sharing world. There's just literally no way to stop it. So um, I think that education process about working with your, that communication with the parent, with your child, to say, you know, you need to understand. What, and, and I think using the example that uh, out of Newport Harbor is, is one that can bring the lesson home for a child to say, you know, she didn't know, and here it is popping up. This could be you. So, you know, think twice uh, about what you're doing. Newport Mesa Unified School District Technology Director Stephen Glyer's key message to parents is to pay attention to their child's computer usage and warn them that whatever they share is permanent and is not at all private. Miles Rogers attends Newport Harbor where Allison Stocky is a senior. He was unaware of the controversy but knows firsthand how internet imposters create trouble. There's problems with MySpace hacking where like users can log on and like sort of post comments that you didn't really post, right. like there's bulletins and stuff, so they post things that you didn't say. And here's another thing to remember, that silly video of yourself that you've posted on the web just may come back to haunt you. When you're interviewing for a job in 10 years, your future boss may find it. In Newport Beach, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.